by the riverside, down by the riverside, where I went my little better dog. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. It's a high fly ball out the short center field. Mantle is certainly under. This may be it. He's got it! And the New York Yankees wrap up the seventh and final game of the 1958 World Series 6-2 over the Milwaukee Braves. Uh, four bottles of beer. So? What's happening? You ain't missed a damn thing. Hey, listen, man, now that I'm back, the combination's reunited. We'll see if we can put a few things together. Hats? Hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you were dead, man. Hey. I heard you got eaten by a shark in San Francisco or something. Hey, man, does that sound like my kind of scene? No, yeah, well, it's all over the huh? campus. Yeah, I must say you're looking very sharp these days. I mean, you got a whole new image. No, all the brothers have to wear ties during rush week. Yeah, impress the new membership. You know, they got me on the committee for the rush luncheon. You're gonna kill the fatted calf? No, we're gonna have steak. Uh, hey, is there anything in the bylaws excluding Greeks? <laughs> Come on, Pabs, give me a break. Relax, boys. They're gonna love me. They may even make you president of the house for bringing me. Anastas Papadopoulos. Dan Cachon, Erie, PA. Tom Dean, Chicago. Dave Fanning, Rochester, New York. Hey, what's up, Gorsley? Hi, I'd like you to meet my buddy, Paps. Paps, this is Fred Krebs from the Interfraternity Athletic Committee. Great, it's good to have you down. Well, it's nice to be down, Fred. Thanks, Fred. Are you starting already? Hmm? Oh, man, when's dinner? Uh, nooses? Name's John Makus, with a Y. Guys call me Makes. Ah, uh, well, Nassus is the way to pronounce it, uh, but old Gorsi calls me Paps. Yeah, old Gorsi's quite a guy. He's done a whole lot for the house. Yeah, well, that's the way Gorsi is. Yeah, good old Gorsi. Well, that, that Gorsi, he, he really knows what's going on, huh? Hey, he tells me you're a transfer student. Yeah. Yeah, old Gorsi. Yeah. Hey, Makes. Hey, what do you say, Ace? The hanging freeloader or fella? Perhaps these are two more of the brothers. Larry Albright, Cleveland. Nice. To meet you. John Moore, Chicago. How are you? What's you in? Uh, astronomy. You know, a little uh, celestial mechanics type thing. I hear it's a real gut. How'd you happen to get into astronomy? What, are you kidding? For the money. Hey, Gorsi! Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus, did you just see a Chinese dwarf walk by? Shh, huh? Could you? It's Harold Wong. <laughs> it's the Cox on the Olympic crew, so cool that. Okay? Are you sure? I mean, have you actually seen him in the boat? What is the matter with you? <laughs> Nothing. Everything's cool. Ace. Oh, now here comes Agnew. It's very influential, so be nice. Sure, okay? Corsi, where have you been keeping yourself? Ah, uh, Byron, I'd like you to meet Pats. A oh, pleasure, Pats. How's your ass, Ace? How do you like the house? I think it's terrific. Well, look, if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Yeah, Byron's the man to talk to. What are you staring at my hair like that for? Oh, it's your hair. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, you you were staring at my hair. I mean, does it bother you? <laughs> hey, uh, I think they're going into dinner. Huh? Let's go. Wait a minute. You find my hair peculiar, is that it? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Dinner, perhaps. Steak? Is everything okay, Nooses? Yeah, it's fine. Sensational. What? What's that sound you're making? Oh, you mean? Oh, well, that, that's that's a little Indian thing that I do. My mantra. You know, I try to get it in after meals. You know, it sort of helps the digestion. Really? Wards off the old monkey demon. Hey, Wong. Sorry, Ace. I didn't hear you. By the way, perhaps, uh, something I wanted to ask you. Uh, well, you really going to ask me a question, or are you coming on? I, I don't follow you. Come on, Byron, you know what I'm talking about. You mean you were queer, or what? What? You think He's a fantastic put-on artist. I warn you guys, right? What are you smoking? What is that? You know, faggots can be useful, productive members of society, as long as they keep their goddamn hands to themselves. Let's go. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, Ron? Huh? You mark my words, gang. I mean, you may be the house mascot now, but in ten years, zoom back to Peking! A commissar! Just a little dinner. Pleasure I promised myself for a long time. What pleasure is that, man? I should explain, of course. At the Pi Delta Seda house, where you made your magnificent declaration against those knobs and narrow minds. I was there that evening. They wanted to pledge me for their idiotic little club. But I was inspired by your example, and I also told them to go kiss their ass out the window, like you. Yeah, well, I wasn't uh, feeling too well that night. Yeah, it's good to be modest, but you're a real macho. No matter what you say, I am Rosenblum, Juan Carlos. Okay. Good to meet you. We will meet many times from now on. I have great respect for you, so I will be your friend. Just like that? Of course. It's just so hopeless, it makes me want to cry. Then why do you keep going back? Maybe I'm a fanatic. You're a masochist. I mean, you said so yourself. It's hopeless, so why do you keep knocking yourself out? No, I just keep thinking maybe I can get through to them somehow. Oh, the hell with them. Look, the whole point is, is that we're immune to all that. As long as we're cool with each other, we got nothing to worry about. It's a rather selfish attitude, don't you think? Come on, man. Come on, you gotta hold on to me. Come on, you don't know what's happened. It's been a lot of trouble. You're all right. Please, follow me. 